Yo and hello everybody, Mike here, baseball collector, and I've got a little bit of stuff that came in today, including a package from this guy, uh, JT. So you'll get to some cards that, well, I'll tell stories in a minute. But I do want to bring up something that was brought to my attention yesterday, I believe, or the day before. Uh, and we, we lost a member of the community. Uh, really sad story, Scott, who used to be known as Wildcat72, for years on YouTube and then lost his channel through something weird with YouTube and had to start over and his channel was called I Love Baseball Cards. And Ray from Philly told me about it yesterday and I, well, I think it was yesterday. And I was just like floored and I thought it had happened recently. Turns out he passed away November 1st and his last video on his channel is October 14th. So I don't, it was just crazy. Um, I know he'd been sick. He'd been in the hospital. There have been some things going on. He had his foot amputated. Uh, but it's sad, you know, when you, anytime we lose somebody like that, it's just hard. You know, I, I didn't know him well. I had never met him, but I knew some guys that did and said nothing but great things about him and fun to hang out with. And he had a great collection and yeah. So Rest in peace, Scott. You'll be missed. And uh, yeah, sad. Okay, uh, let's be happy and look at some cards. So hang on one second. All right, so knowing Scott, at least from watching his videos, he would he would be wanting us to look at cards. So we'll do that. He, he loved the hobby. And this is a 93 Tops Larry Walker. Uh, I hate black ink on black backgrounds. It doesn't make any sense. Larry Walker signs sideways most of the time, by the way. That's how he signs. Um, so here's a 93. He tops player era autograph. So eBay purchase super cheap, like 12 bucks or something. This was a eBay auction. Mike Schmidt, 83 tops. Again, black ink. My God. But when the price is right, you know, this one's already slabbed, which is even better. And I love the blue flips. There are people that, these are old school blue flips for PSA DNA. I have autos that I sent into PSA DNA when they were doing blue flips. But I, I actually like them. They don't command a premium, which is fine by me. It's still slabbed. It's still, you know, the autos are graded in, grading an eight, which I don't care. It's an 83 tops Mike Schmidt. So... Uh, let's see. Now to J the JT stuff. I've got the whole kit and caboodle here. He sent me this as a freebie. A little Juan Gonzalez. Topps Pristine. Topps Pristine was a weird product that they would literally encase every card. Uh, this is a base card. How cool. I mean, that's pretty. Look at the shine. Ooh, uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, oh, three, maybe? Does that sound right? think so um but yeah jt just threw that in there as a gift so thank you sir but i did buy this from him little Corey seager tops five star this is the blue parallel uh, i think this is 17 this is my least favorite year of five star because the base are silver the the blue ones actually look really good with that gold background it really highlights the autograph the silver ones it not so great, but this one's numbered to 25 and I uh, might as well get a Seeger five star if I can. So that's awesome. And then this was uh, Tops Living Todd Helton that JT bought for me because the seller had blocked me for some reason. So I couldn't buy it. And so I said, hey, JT, go buy this card. I'll pay you back and you can just ship it to me with some other stuff. And that's what he did. So I was able to circumvent the blockage always a good thing and then this card i'm gonna this is interesting I, I bought a 2011 this is from jt bowman draft mike trout eight and a half and the price on this is so cheap relative now all trouts have come down huge 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 all of his rookies and i think that's a combination of his injury history um Pop reports going through the roof. There's tons of them out there. Demand has fallen. Like the, the 
confluence of things to make this card not worth anything is hilarious or trout rookies in general. This one in particular, the Bowman draft, it was so cheap. I wanted, like I had to buy it and I just wanted to add it. And it's funny because when you think about a player's rookie card and how many different ones there are, the fact that the tops update, you know, was it us 175 of trout is incredibly popular so much so that uh, it's kind of the go-to rookie card for Mike Trout. And actually, I think it should be. I don't have a problem with that. This card is kind of a second-level Trout rookie. It's still a rookie, at least rookie year. I don't know. Um, but this, and this goes to show another point I want to make about pop reports. The Trout update, Tops update, has, I looked just now, right before I started shooting this, 13,600 total are in the pop report. This card, the 11 Bowman draft, same year, 4,500 total are graded of this card. So you would think, theoretically, this is a third as populous in terms of number of slabs out there. It should be three times as much. And in fact, it's a fraction of what the Tops update costs. And so that goes to show, I think, what that tells us is demand matters, popularity matters of the card, uh, that the Tops update is considered his primary rookie, all those things. Uh, but that's good. It's fine by me. I got to pick this up for cheap. So just an interesting point that popu low pop doesn't mean more expensive, I guess, is kind of the conclusion I'm trying to draw here. This one's only 4500 and it's, again, a fraction of the update. So there you go, guys. That's my mail today, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Keep collecting.